Hello everyone! In this tutorial, I'm going to be going over how to edit a basic WordPress theme. I'm not going to go anything too complicated. It's going to be more of a quick and dirty how to add maybe a header, an image in the header, and possibly some modifications to how things look, like bolding it and making it stand out more. What I'm going to do is, in the description, I'm going to have different sections about what I'm going over. This first part is going to be how to read the templates. So. In your control panel, you're going to notice over here in the appearance, you have something called an editor. We'll click on that, and it's going to bring up a whole bunch of templates over here on the right hand side. And they're named usually pretty well. You know, comments, it'll just give you the PHP file to modify what uh, the comment page will look like. And how WordPress is set up is you have one page and it links to a whole bunch of other pages and it pulls that information from all these templates over here on the right hand side. And this is really good if you have like a database structure which is what WordPress is. You have a huge database of all your information and you can easily switch things over by just changing one little piece of coding instead of going through and changing it on every single page. So over here you can see like footer. A footer is going to be down here. So if I get down to my page, this is the footer. It's at the foot of your page. And as you can see, I have just an image here. And I just have, you know, copyright, blah, 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 what my website's about. Up here, this is the header. And I believe the menu is included on this one. And over here, this is called a sidebar. This themselves is going to be a post. And over here, if you know anything about WordPress, this is going to be like your widgets. I haven't gone into editing widgets, but basically all I needed to do was edit these images. And that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to put an image up there, make it centered. Just a quick little add-on. So, if you take a look over here, let's just bring up the header. Now, this is the theme is um, 2012, which is the default WordPress theme for 2012. They changed it from 2011 for the new year. They're one behind, which is weird, but whatever. Um, so, any of your styles are going to be in your style sheet, and this is use CSS to format it, your cascading style sheets. This is your general, like, your, what typeface you want to use, how your headers are displayed, what color they are, what your hyperlinks are, if they change black after that, um, just how your images are displayed. So basically anything that is more aesthetic, that's going to be in your CSS. For anything like page related, like how pages are displayed, those are going to be over in your templates. So in your CSS, you're going to notice that it's going to have comments. And the comments are really helpful, like right here. This doesn't display in the actual formatting itself, but it's going to help you identify what the formatting is going to change. So for a banner, this is what it's going to do. It's going to give you 48 pixels underneath the banner, and it's going to give you a margin of 3 point blah 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 blah, whatever. This is that sidebar that I was talking about. This is where you would modify if you want your widgets to have maybe more space in between them and your content. So if you have anything specifically you want to change, like if you want to change the color in the sidebar, you would scroll through here and find the sidebar comment, and then you'll know that this is what you're dealing with. Most of these are labeled pretty easily. Um, if you want to modify like a different theme that you downloaded, it's going to be a little bit different, but as a general rule, people want to keep things organized because this is a lot of coding. And here's where you would modify the footer. And these little dots right here, that's like, um, it's a, just like a naming convention of your formatting options. Like you can have different things. Instead of having like different style sheets, you can have it all on one page and then you can, if you want like a post called like, I don't know, puppies or something, you have your puppy post, you would put like dot puppy 
and then anything under dot puppy would only specifically affect just that one page. So that's how you would want to break that down. Yeah, let's see what else is in here. Um, just some basic CSS. If you want to change hyperlinks or any of like the URLs, or if you want to link to something that is designated by an A, if I can find where an A is, right here, A. This is anything to do with hyperlink. So if you see A and you want to change something, you know that you want to look for an A. That's going to change your hyperlinks. Um, H through H6, these are headers, your header one, two, three, you can change each of those and it's convenient if you want to have like your blog post as a header one and you want it to be blue. And then if you want to have a header that's header two and you want to have it to be the same formatting but you want to make it green, you can easily just do that in here with CSS. Um, TD, TH, anything with a T has happens to do with a table. Um, block code, a block quote would be helpful if you're like quoting something, it's going to be a different formatting than a paragraph. So if you want to quickly like indent something and have it italicized or a little bit different, that's how you would do that. Um, let's see what else do we have in here. Um, IMG is your image. Iframe would be like a little frame inside of a window. Um, let's see. Anything else that is? Um, a div. DIV would be, it's like a formatting if you want to change like layer your images. Um, but anything that we're going through, um, if you're curious, you just see it and you're like, what does that do? There's a handy resource that is called um, w3schools.com slash CSS. It's going to give you all of this information. Um, it's, it's hard to memorize everything. There's a lot here. So if you're just curious how to change something, um, like if you want to do displays, um, let's see what it'll give us. It's going to go with headers and just read up on what all this is. You can do about images. It's going to give you all the image tags and it even has like quizzes and everything. The only way I know it is just because I built websites when I was younger. So you kind of pick up on the language, but as I'm saying, this one's cool. HR is a horizontal rule. Um, let's see, I have one right here this line right here. If you want to quickly create a line that's a horizontal rule, so just look for that. And so that's pretty much the basic introduction on how to find stuff. So if you're ever curious and you want to change something, like you want to make something bold, it's you can either do it in HTML or you can write it as strong, or you can put it in CSS as strong. But all of this information you can easily find just by Googling. Uh, it'll save you some time if you know what you're looking for. So that's what this short introduction is for. So in the next section, we're going to go over how to start editing this and maybe putting into effect adding an image at the top or bolding some of the comments. So stick around for the next section.